Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetors Parts. Um, I got a Carter one barrel YFA here, and I want to explain all the different passageways that you have in this so that if you understand where the passages go, um, you'll know what to do when you're having a problem. Hopefully you will anyway. So that's what we're here to do. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and like our video if you don't mind and we'll get right to it okay the first one I want to show you is the uh, vacuum advance right here uh, <clears throat> this goes to your distributor now on this particular carburetor we have what you call a ported vacuum advance of the older ones um, the vacuum went directly from here into the intake manifold it's a little bit different on this one this one here uh, leads up through this hole here I'll show you where it leads so you know what to look for um, and then it goes up into this hole right here, this passage. And it's going to get fed by this hole here. And then there right here is just a, uh, a vent, vent hole. But this right here. So uh, at idle, you're not going to get any uh, vacuum advance um, <clears throat> because the throttle plate's closed but when it opens you'll get more vacuum and it'll pull vacuum through this hole and uh, that this uh, came on cars uh, that use a low uh, vacuum advance or low advance uh, say uh, two to four before top dead center and uh, and they did that because of the uh, smog controls it was a early one of their early Carter's early ideas to uh, help with the hydrocarbons Hope you understood that. I barely do. So again, um, we're going to carry it backwards. This is your vacuum advance. Gets fed through this hole here, which leads to this hole. Okay, and if you blow air through it, or uh, I like to use carb spray carb cleaner to do it. Um, that uh, helps clean out at the same time, and then it, it feeds through this hole right here. So that's how the vacuum advance works. Okay, the next passageway I want to talk about is the uh, passage, the vacuum passage that operates the pull down and the choke here. This is a pull down, there's a piston in here. You can see it when it goes in and out here. And <clears throat> so the vacuum goes here. Okay, and what this is for is uh, it, when the valve is closed and you tromp on it, you need a little more air so that that pull down helps force that uh, uh, choke valve open. So anyway, the vacuum is being led here to the uh, choke housing and then through here, okay, in the bowl. And through here, the bottom of the bowl, this hole, and then, put on here so I don't get mixed up. I'm going to be sure I don't tell you the wrong, I get mixed up here. Uh, yeah, okay. So here, through here, okay, through this hole, and through here which feeds through here through the intake. So your gasket could cover this hole, no big deal, because as you see, there's a pathway to the inside of the throat right here. So the um, same thing goes over here. If your gasket happens to cover that, I don't know if it does or not in this situation, a lot of times they do. Uh, the, it, it, the hole is made so that it comes out anyway. Okay, so that's it again. So again, let's, let's go backwards. Um, as I said, it's, uh, yeah, let's see, get myself confused here, okay, into here, through here, through this hole here, through here, which feeds right here to the top, uh, and then goes into the choke housing into this here right here okay and that's that one. okay the next passage I want to talk about here will be the main discharge now this is where the uh, 
um, accelerator pump diaphragm goes down here like this down there and when you step on the gas the fuel goes through this hole here from the pump and goes into this passageway and this is where the check ball and the check wave is and it comes out here to your main discharge so when you uh, if you're having trouble with acceleration um, first of all just look down the carburetor let's see the top will be on like this look down the carburetor and pump step on the gas and see if you're getting a good squirt out of this too if you're not then you're having trouble there um, and that could be the check ball not seating maybe the check balls missing uh, a lot of times the weight is missing uh, which it is now I can't find it uh, to show it to you where to go okay check ball and check weight all right so it's down here in a black hole somewhere all right well anyway that's where it's at and uh, that would be uh, for the uh, accelerator pump. Okay, so let's talk about the idle mixture now. Uh, idle mixture screw which goes in uh, somewhere right here. Okay, it is fed through right here. The uh, carburetor vacuum, vacuum through the throat. Also your transfer slot right here uh, as you speed up it the throttle opens up and allows uh, air fuel mixture through this transfer slot you can see it right through here and uh, it feeds up through this passage right here you want to be sure it's all nice and clean and it feeds from here and here um, this feeds out this is your idle tube feeds down to your main jet here and this is where the gas gets mixed in here mixed with air and you see this this is the same air that goes to your uh, uh, vacuum advance it also helps feed the uh, idle um, so it all works together and so that's a real important one when you're having idle troubles be sure you uh, Make sure you can uh, see through uh, where the idle mixture screw goes. The uh, transfer hole is not plugged up. And you can see the little hole right here in the, by the transfer hole. Check that out. And spray through these. I spray it with the carb cleaner and, or air. Sometimes air is better because you got to watch a carb cleaner. I spray myself in the face all the time with it. And uh, that's not good. All right. So... And this part right here, you see this hole here? That's also a part of it. And here's the air passage right here for the idle. And I think that uh, covers it. Uh, the, some of the other obvious ones is a fuel inlet goes through here. And the fuel is uh, metered by the float as the float drops and yeah I forget what floats here right this way as the float drops it this needle will pull out remember I got it upside down pull out and allow fuel to go in and uh, it's going up and down all the time and in uh, probably more as you're driving it's more open than closed okay so I think I covered that I'll review myself and Make sure I didn't leave a passage out that you might need to know about. Okay, so that wraps up this video, the YFA one barrel, uh, about all the passages and where they go. And uh, it's a simple task of, uh, if you're wondering like where the vacuum advance goes, just uh, blow air through it, through the holes, take it apart like I did here. And just follow the passage and make sure everything's okay. If everything's uh, open, then you should be all right. Okay, just make sure your gaskets are... Uh, um, Got to watch your gaskets that they don't get it on right. Uh, plug up the wrong hole. Like this little hole has to be open. And I uh, forget where that one goes. Oh, right here. Okay. They all have their use. 
So there you go. I hope that gives you a bit of an understanding where the passages are. It's hard to see when the carburetor is together, of course, even when it's apart because they're hidden in there sometimes. So there you go. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, visit our website. You can get parts for this carburetor at mikescarb.com. That's M-I-K-E-S-C-A-R-B.com. Thanks for watching. Okay. So that wraps up this video, the YFA one barrel, uh, about all the passages and where they go. And uh, it's a simple task of, uh, if you're wondering like where the vacuum advance goes, just uh, blow air through it, through the holes, take it apart like I did here, and just follow the passage and make sure everything's okay. If everything's uh, open, then you should be all right. Okay, just make sure your gaskets are, uh, um, gotta watch your gaskets that they don't, get it on right uh, plug up the wrong hole and like this little hole has to be open and uh forget where that one goes oh right here okay they all have their use so there you go i hope that gives you a bit of an understanding where the passages are that's it's hard to see when the carburetor is together of course even when it's apart because they're hidden in there sometimes so there you go um I hope this helps. Uh, visit our website. You can get parts for this carburetor at mikescarb.com. That's M-I-K-E-S-C-A-R-B.com. Thanks for watching.